What's up, YouTube? Southern Comic Geek coming to you with some more haul videos. And so I uh, managed to today while I'm on the job out there in the field making things happen. I was able to pick up a few pickups. Um, went by the area Walmart that I was in as well as the local Walgreens and picked up a few things and got home to some more goodies. Uh, do anticipate uh, doing a, uh, well, tomorrow... So this video is going live August the 10th. So tomorrow, August the 11th, check out a video that's already been scheduled uh, with the 400 subscriber giveaway. I'm going to be giving away those uh, comics, including the original Guardians of the Galaxy, the OG team. Uh, we'll be giving away some other books as well, and that will be tomorrow I'm going live and spinning the wheel and seeing who will win that. I also have another giveaway right now, if you are not aware of, for this guy right here. And we are fastly approaching giving this one away. And so uh, last week I said that if we were able to hit 450 uh, before months end of August uh, and on 450 subscribers on YouTube, that is, and 1,000 followers on Instagram, then I would give that away. And so right now, what's going on? Uh, what's shaking bacon? Bake the snake, stopping by. Yeah, Lost in comics, what's up? Um, Vinny, how are you? But uh, so, yeah, so we uh, are fastly approaching that. I'm only 20 something uh, followers away on okay. IG uh, from hitting that goal. And uh, as of right now, I'm at 430. And so uh, thanks in large part, not only to you guys that are watching out there, uh, sharing uh, the contest with your friends as well as uh, Crazy Clown doing a contest and driving some people to my uh, YouTube page. Uh, we are fastly on the way. And I'm sure it also has something to do with the YouTube algorithm because, you know, once you can figure out the YouTube algorithm, then you can make things happen. What's up, Agu? Um, how are you today? So uh, do you want to go ahead and give the um, – uh, one that everybody gives, and that's to hit that thumbs up and the subscribe button if you have not already. So uh, let's see what we got today. So I hit a Walgreens up and seen several people trying to get uh, one of these. And there it was right there in Walgreens in little old Yazoo City, Mississippi. So if anybody's ever heard of Zig Ziglar, uh, Zig grew up in Yazoo City. Uh, if you ever heard of a, a comedian named Jerry Clark, Ah, then you know uh, Yazoo City because he tells of Yazoo City because he was a fertilizer salesman. Uh, that's where he uh, was on his route. So, um, But there's not much else in Yazoo City. They finally got a Walmart after years of the Kmart being closed down. Uh, but I went by the Walgreens and they had one of these. Um, and when I posted it, a lot of people were like, man, I've got this uh, on order. I haven't gotten mine yet, blah, blah, blah. And so they seem to be as rare as um, the first appearance of this guy. So uh, got it to make the pair. And um, yeah, you know, I, I've seen it in other places and you know how it is. You're like, I've seen that figure. Uh, but then you end up not remembering where you saw it at. So I just stopped by to, I was actually on the pop hunt and uh, <laughs> seeing this puppy. And so I uh, picked it up to add that to the PC. Um, yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty dope looking. Uh, I really don't need to go down another rabbit hole of collecting. Um, you know, look really cool. Uh, some people say bring these, uh, take these out and let them breathe, but I don't know. I don't know. It's like, do I leave it in? It's kind of like the old poly bag question. Do you ever take the comic out of the original poly bag? Uh, like the Ren and Stimpy that had the extra little deal there. Uh, Sam and David, hello. K Titus, all the way from Japan. How are you doing? Hopefully everybody is doing great, and hopefully everybody will be able to join me. Uh, leave it in the box. Leave it in the box. That's probably going to be my vote because, like with the Pops, I don't take them out of the box. Uh, so, um, do it. Do it. You want me to take it out? You want me to let it breathe? 
Is that what you're saying? Um, the answer is yes. You take the comic out of the comic bag. Oh, okay. Well, um, yeah, this depends on who you, who you ask. I know you have to if you're going to uh, send it off for grading. Uh, I've got like an X-Men Gold, the uh, retailer surprise edition, you know, where uh, Rogue and Gambit got married. I've still got it in the bag. Uh, still got the Superman, Death of Superman in the poly bag. Poly bags, put creases on the bags, open that bad boy up. Ah, but see, then I'm going to be tempted to go and, and you know, get him a, a person to fight again. So um, uh, I am I am torn. That is true. So seems that the vote in the chat is to open it up. Um, so hmm hmm hmm. I have to put some thought to it. So also while I was out, I went by the Walmart there. Been picking up several of these Walmart packs. The thing that I found with these Walmart packs are that whatever you get on the front is. If, so if you see like this symbiote Spider-Man alien reality in one pack and you get two other packs, they're going to have the same two other comics in there. Uh, so we got to vote for don't. Okay. Uh, but you know, that they're the same. So if, if I see one, I don't, I'm not going to pick up two or three hoping that the two other comics that I don't see are different. Uh, that has not always been the case, but 95% of the time is the case. If you've been picking up, um, uh, these Walmart packs yourself and you found something different, be sure to let me know either in the chat if you're watching this live or if you're watching on the rewind uh, on the comments below because uh, that has been my experience. So I did want to show this before I open up these others. And this right here, of course, this is the uh, first punchline, Batman 89, um, and I will be giving it away. I've got several copies. This is the third print. This is the Walmart print. Some would say that this is going to be rarer than the original. I don't know. I'm not a speculator in large part, but uh, if you're looking to add one of these and then, of course, the other uh, three books that are in the uh, there as well, this will be given away tomorrow on my 400 subscriber show live. T-Pain, what is going on? Glad you could join us. Uh, opening up some of the finds, showing off some of the finds that I got today while on the hunt, on the slate hunt. I was out working and just, you know, you know stop, take a break. Might as well be on the hunt a little bit, right? So I uh, picked up some of these Walmart packs. And so I haven't seen as many as I've seen uh, up there. I don't know if that's just saying that that Walmart got lucky and got more than the other ones that I've gotten uh, seen, or if that's saying that the people in Yazoo City are in large part not collectors. I could see that. Yazoo City is uh, definitely one of the poor, or Yazoo County is definitely one of the poor counties of Mississippi. And, hey, look, that's saying a lot. Uh, so uh, probably in large part, not a lot of collector base there. And so uh, they just give them shipped to them and nobody buys them. And therefore there was a lot more available. So in this pack, we've got X-Force number one. I've already got this one right here. Uh, so I was taking a bet on what might be behind there. So let's see what we got. We've got Invincible Iron Man 126. Uh, this is actually Captain America 695, but it's in lenticular, the Captain America and Iron Man. So that's pretty cool. I've got a Star Wars number one that's got Boba Fett, and I think there's a Deadpool one too that that uh, knocks off this uh, Iron Man 126. So I might keep that one just because of, of having that other one that does the same thing. Mr. Comics 89, Matt over at Mr. Comics 89 is doing a road to 500. Uh, so go check out that video if you haven't already. He's uh, fastly approaching 500. And so he is doing a giveaway. This is Civil War II number zero. This is the second printing. So again, I don't know. Some people say these are going to be rare uh, than the originals. Whoever knows, the community in large part decides, right? or some speculators somewhere buying them all up and then telling everybody that this is what you need to buy. Who knows? Depends on who you ask. But uh, it is fun. Uh, it reminds me of the newsstand days uh, where you would know what time that they put them out on the newsstand and you would go, um, James, thanks for stopping in. 
uh, you would go to all the different grocery stores and convenience stores and, and try to hit them up because some carried one book and others carried others. And uh, it's fun. It's kind of, and that's kind of the, the thing with pops to me. I don't really need to go down another rabbit hole as I've already stated. Uh, but with their pops, you can go to Walgreens and various other stores that you really just don't have with comics. And so that's some of the fun of it, uh, having multiple places to go shop in person. Because as we know, there's, there's not a lot of comic book stores anymore. And um, so, uh, yep, just need 22 to 23 stubs to hit that 500 and do the giveaway. So he's doing a Deadpool uh, print as well as a Deadpool pop. So be sure to check that out and enter that giveaway with him the uh and like the newsstand days of old you have to watch which ones of these they buy because they in large part do not take care of these comics uh avengers 27 this is the jason aaron and ed mcginnis yeah. run so if you'll notice right here on the the thing look at it, it's bent now that's it's not color breaking so it's probably pressable but that's it's really aggravating I mean, you just got it. It's in the pack, but those packs are, you know, they're like, Pfft. I had a, a Walmart lady, you know, she goes, oh, you must be a collector. And then she just throws it in the bag. And I'm like, you just asked me if I'm a collector and you just spit in my face by throwing it over there. Like you don't care if I'm a collector or not. Uh, this one is Marvel Comics Presents number two, the second printing. I don't think there's anything super special about that one. Uh, not sure what the original, the one that has Wolverine's daughter in it. I think it's like six or I something. Um, so I don't think that there's anything super special about that issue. Uh, then we've got Avengers versus the X Men variant edition, uh, the Gwen Stacy version. And the back there. So. Um, Man, that one's super dinged down there at the bottom. <laughs> Aggravating. So basically, you're paying on the Marvel packs, you're getting three books and you're getting them for nine bucks. So you're paying $3 uh, for the books uh, a piece plus tax. So it is a little bit less than the cover price because the typical cover price is $3.99. Um, but does that always mean you should be getting less of value? I mean, to me, it's. Why can't you just take better care of your stuff, Walmart? The reality is they're handled by people that in large part make minimum wage or a little bit over, and they don't care. It's kind of like the person at McDonald's. They don't care if they get your order right. They're going to be there, and they're going to make their money regardless. That's my argument as to why there shouldn't be minimum wage, because guess what? You get minimum work. How about maximum wage? Why shouldn't people be worried about maximum wages? Uh, so, but that's that's one of my rants, I guess. Fantastic Four number ten, Ron Lamb cover. Then we got Winter Soldier number three. Uh, got Bucky and well, Bucky on the front cover there. So Tom Higgins, okay. Then we've got X Men Goal number twenty nine. This is the second printing. Yeah, he's making out with her, but they're not going to make it. So let me see if that's one of the ones that I need uh, on my X-Men Gold. I've been kind of soft collecting these X-Men Golds when I run across them. It is not one I need. As a matter of fact, I think I just picked it up the other day, the 29 the other day. I got a first edition back on July the 23rd. Yep, in when I was in Tennessee. Oh, well, I don't have a second. Right. I do now. So, got that one. So, what's exciting out there that people are looking forward to buying on New Comic Book Day? Whether you're buying Marvel or DC in your shop depends on whether or not you're getting it on tomorrow or Wednesday. I still go to my shop on Wednesday. It just kind of works out with my work schedule, so kind of built it around that. Um, so, he knows what I need for DC, and so it's already in my pull box. And ready for me, including that uh, one that got really hot really quick, and to me was really kind of lame. And that's the um, Legends of the Dark Knight uh, first Robin King. Um, 
it really just didn't do it for me. Um, I, in large part, like the storyline, certainly like the characters. Uh, but but yeah, I mean, it's yeah. Certainly don't see where it went super Nova super fast because it did that, especially the uh, ratio variant, which I didn't get one of those, but my uh, LCS did put one of the others up for me. So we got X Men number one. Uh, I do already have this version sure. of that, so we'll put that up for sale. Um, I've got uh, probably two auctions. I know of at least one that I've got coming up, and uh, we'll put that up for sale. War of the Realms number two. This is looks to be the first print. That was one of those series, kind of like um, the current one is with me. Um, just I got into it's large part characters I'm not invested in and spending my dollars elsewhere. So then we got Secret Wars number one, the Scotty Young version. So that's, that's pretty cool. It's pretty fun. I'm get into some of those Scotty Young covers and some of them like you know, I'll, I'll take it or leave it. So got this one that's got the symbiote. That's another so series, which I dropped ASM. Um, Nick Spencer really wasn't doing it for me on Spider-Man. Um, so I evaluated my collecting and uh, dropped the ASM. But I found a lot of good stuff about Symbiote uh, Spider-Man. Uh, I have yet to pick that up. I got the first one, um, the black sketch cover, because I anticipated getting a sketch drawn on it. Uh, but I... Other than that, I don't have anything I'll do now. Uh, this one is um, some variant edition. And this is what I'm talking about. It was in the packaging already with the little slight dog ear down there at the bottom. Hi. Then we got Black Panther Hi. number 10. Okay. In the lead up to War of the Rounds. Then we got X-Men 92. This is... A variant edition I don't have. It's got, it looks like a sketch cover, but it's actually got Jubilee way down there at the bottom. And uh, over here on the back, it's got what that one actually is. So that's pretty cool. I don't have that one. Um, wish it was in a little bit better shape. I've got X-Men 92 number one, but I don't have that version of it. So Mr. Comedy 9 tells me that... Dropping ASM is blasphemy. Um, Vinny says uh, Spencer is yeah. I mean it just it wasn't there for me. I'm like, come on, man, give me a give me a story. I mean they have dragged the uh, introduction of who that character is for ever now. Um, who's the uh, new character that's going behind the scenes? He resurrected the Sin Eater. And all that. Now, I have been in several Walmarts, and I've yet wow. to see this one right here. DC Comics, ten for ten. So that's something I'm you can get behind. So basically, okay, you're yeah. getting books for a. Bus. Always fun to dive into the dollar bins and see what kind of goodness you can get there. So I so said, let that's me check good. this out. So the first one got is Justice League of America, number oh, one, hundred page giant. So I'm guessing these are like the ones that you can get in Walmart uh, individually. Um, since I'm not really heavily vested in any uh, any uh, stories outside of Batman, I normally don't pick these up. But uh, looks like a re reprinting of Justice League number one from back in the Jim Lee, the New 52 days, because I'm recognizing the art. Okay, so that's kind of cool. And then individually pack them up in here into three packs. It says for five, but we know that's not yeah. the case because the math doesn't add up. Um, so it says, um, yeah. ah, the Carol, okay. And then we've got, uh, they dragged the identity of Green Goblin for what, 25 issues? Not unusual, really. And, you know, the uh, a lot of people were mad at Tom King. You know, I, I don't. I didn't really dislike his run other than the fact that it's like it took so long. The City of Bane storyline just took so long to finally get it to the point to where it's like, okay, here's the end, bam. And it's like, wow, that was kind of anticlimactic. Um, 
Then we've got Batman number one, Night of the Monster Man. Um, so this must be a variant of number one, maybe. Um, hold on a second. I need to put this on me. All right, so uh, I am back. So then we got Batman Eternal number nine um, there. So that's cool. Red Hood and Red Robin taking on Bane. We got Phantom Stranger from the new uh, 52. Phantom Stranger number 19. Okay. So, yeah, it's not unusual for them to drag out stuff. I mean, that's what they do. They try to um, sell books. It's like, is there not enough creative in the world that you can just tell a good story and move on to the next good story? What's going on, Perry? Uh, Perry was over there on his channel, which has uh, got a million subscribers or something by now, playing Spider-Man for the first time. So that looked, that looked cool. Uh, yeah. Last night I popped in on that one for a little bit. Looks like we got Batman number one, uh, Tim Sale uh, version of that. We got Futures in number eight. The zero to nothing about Futures in. I think that was a storyline that was going on back then. And uh, then we got number nine. Yeah, didn't look awful exciting thus far. Let's see what we got in this last one here. And only other complaint that I have about them is they're kind of persnickety to open up. And I'm sure... They're trying to figure out the cheapest way to package them and keep them relatively in good shape until they get to the final destination of somebody that pays for them and it gets home. Um, so I'm sure that has something to do with it. Uh, Perry, was that on PlayStation? Because um, I was thinking PlayStation is the only one that carries the rights to Spider-Man because Sony uh, has the rights. And then, of course, Sony owns PlayStation. We got Batman Eternal number one. So kind of a, a cool cover there, Jason Fabon, which is definitely uh, a great Batman uh, artist there. And uh, if you'll notice all the Batman cast of characters in the background of the cape. Uh, Convergence. That's Justice Society of America. Uh, Dan Abnett, who writes Rye now. Um, so this is a tie-in to that. So, David Ewing, thanks for stopping by, just showing off some of the pickups today. Then we got Dan Abnett uh, in writing Masters of the Universe, number twelve. This is not the most recent series. Uh, this is the, not the most recent series that has the in hook Lee, I believe. Um, Covers to them, which are pretty cool. So check that out. It's kind of cool. All right. So then got some packages in the mail. So Jen over, I think it's Black Black uh, Bird Comics. So Black Bird Comics, if you haven't checked them out on IG, they have a store over there and they drop stuff for sale. I bought stuff from them before, uh, but picked uh, some other stuff. And they'll let you hold a box and until you get ready and then you can check out. They'll see you in invoice, and um, you don't have to do it friends and family. Uh, so uh, that works out just fine. Uh, as, I, as I understand it, they actually own a store, and I believe it comes from Pennsylvania, but uh, they sell over on IG. So I picked up a few Batman from them, Batman 466, which I now have all of Batman, and they're ordered or on their way or already in the PC. 
in either case, I've marked them as having them so that I don't accidentally purchase them twice while waiting on them to come in. Uh, but from Batman Volume 1, I have uh, issue 380 to 713. So have all of uh, those, have a lot of the 300s. So that's my next little plan of attack is to chip away at the 300s, and then I have 300 to 713. Uh, picked up a couple along the way. Uh, that are a little earlier than that, but these are some of the ones that are marked off the list. Batman 464, Batman 462. Then we've got uh, Rune number one. Um, this is the Ashcan version. Uh, so I've been picking. Picking up these uh, Barry Windsor Smith uh, Rune comics lately as I can play them on the cheap. Picked up Batman 249. Well, 20 cent goodness there. I'm not sure if that's a Neil Adams cover or not. I know he was doing Batman about that time. Then we got Batman 463. Batman 191, some 12 cent goodness. Looks like Batman, uh, the bottoms fell out of the market and it's a bat auction. Everything must go. And the old checkerboard top there. And this is what I always like, and this is what I, why I wanted to shout this particular seller on IG out, was because there was a comic that I had went to claim and they said, somebody's already got it. It's like, oh, okay, well, all right, no big deal. So I don't know if that person didn't claim it and then they decided to just throw it in for me. They had another one and knew I had wanted it or whatever in the which case, but I get it. You notice that little F R E E that spells free credit report.com baby. Well, no, we're not talking about Fred, credit report. We're talking about Batman 15 cent goodness number two fifteen, And, um, he is destroying the, Wayne Manor for some reason, but they gave it to me for free. So that was a nice one to check off of the old list. Enlarge uh, buyer pass. Uh, in this case, we are going to buy because I've already bought it. What's up, Jabroni? Glad you could drop in for uh, just a minute even uh, then. Uh, and I'm going to reach out to you. That package should be in this week. So I'm going to check your schedule when I know a little more for certain what day it's going to be in and then check your schedule and uh, we'll go from there on that big package I had mentioned coming in. Um, so in large part, I haven't really had a big problem with the postal service. It's a day or two late, but I mean, it, it still gets to me and generally they've been in, in okay shape. Um, but that's, been largely uh, the priority mail packages. And so I found out that the other ones are not so uh, quick, unfortunately. What's going on, Justin? I was showing off some of the comics that I picked up today, as well as this from earlier, which you noticed because you saw and commented on the uh, post. A lot of people were um, voting earlier as to whether or not I should take it out and let it breathe or let it remain in the package. So for those of you who have not already put your two cents worth in, feel free to do so in the comments now. But uh, so I ordered this book off of eBay uh, quite a while ago, and it finally just said it's lost. <laughs> I mean, at least it was honest about it. And uh, so I checked on it uh, today, and it says, oh, it's out for delivery. Um, so they found it. And so, so surprised it came in such okay shape. Uh, it was not packaged really well, so I wasn't really thrilled about that. Uh, but it says Unity 2000 preview book. And so for those of you who are not aware, Unity was the uh, crossover event for Valiant back in the early 90s. Uh, really great crossover. Uh, so after that, Valiant kind of started going down a little bit. Um, as Jim Shooter was kicked out, Layton took over. The 90s bust bubble happened. Acclaim takes over Valiant. Any number of things happen. So in 2000, Acclaim is going to bring back some of the old uh, guard because you'll notice that it says Shooter, Starlin, and Rubenstein. No. So, um, you know, Jim Shooter, uh, Jim Starlin, and Joe Rubenstein, some of uh, some older creators. 
and they're going to do Unity 2000. So this is a preview book that was sent to uh, various retailers, comic book shops, uh, to preview it so that they know whether or not they want to order it. So only two, I think only two issues of Unity 2000 ever got published. They never were able to complete the story. Uh, claim went belly up, and so everything went by the wayside. And uh, the rest, as they say, is history. But this was a uh, preview book of that. Um, that the story that never finished, never ultimately happened. So it just happens like that sometimes, right? And then, of course, now Valiant is finding themselves right back in square one. Um, they were purchased in the early 2010s, um, led off to sell a bunch of comics, and that's just what they did, and had a re renaissance of sorts. They kicked them out when somebody else took over, and now they're a bunch of social justice warriors. And um, the corona just kind of uh, sped up the process of their demise. Um, they have exited their lease early at their uh, main place in New York. Uh, you can make the argument that that makes good business sense, and it does. Um, you can do stuff virtually. You're only really putting out how many titles a month. You really don't need a place in New York, which in large part you're vacating because you're working virtually anywhere. Anyway, uh, maybe Justin, who does, uh, who's famous for his lettering. I don't know, Justin. Do you do any work for Valiant, or have you done any work in the past, or do you have any intel or insight, knowing some people in the industry that you can maybe comment on this? But um, to my understanding, they did not uh, phrase it that way. That they, this is just a business move. Uh, you know, just basically, hey, we're getting out of the building. So kind of a misstep on their part and then people start speculating with IDW uh, issues and woes as to what uh, is going to happen there. Um, IDW's had some money uh, problems for a while now. The Corona just kind of aided and abetted that. Um, and then this is part of the deal. You know, there used to be Gold Key and Dell and Charlton Comics and all these other ones before that are no more. So it's not an unheard of thing that a publisher, especially in this day and digital age, uh, to go away. Uh, hopefully there will be, if they do, whether it be Valiant, whether it be IDW, um, that somebody will pick them up and use their properties. Yeah. IDW doesn't have an awful lot of the, outside of Canto. Sure. Uh, most yeah, of their yeah. stuff is licensed stuff, but it's good licensed stuff. So maybe somebody will pick that up. But on the Valiant front, you've got, the third largest connected universe. Uh, so Marvel and DC are the only ones that beat them in that. So there's a lot of opportunity there for somebody to take it and run with it. Uh, certainly. Um, but the, the, lately they had a lot of missteps with the bloodshot movie. Uh, they sold the rights off to Paramount for the uh, Harbinger movie. They had originally intended to do similar to MCU and build on a connected universe, which is what theirs is largely. Um, but now it's got two different studios, so you know that's not going to happen. Bloodshot got released at the worst opportune, worst uh, time, uh, or least opportune time, um, when the corona hit. Uh, so that just aided in its um, demise there. So who knows? Some of my comic book ramblings, as there were. And I think that uh, StreamYard's lagging, y'all. So pardon me if I'm if you put some stuff in the comments and I'm just not commenting on your comments uh, because the last one that I see is Justin saying, hi, everyone, um, and him playing uh, Break the Ice. I uh, do not see anything else. And, uh, no, and I'll see a whole bunch come through all of a sudden. So who, who knows? But... Um, but yeah, so I didn't anticipate this being an awful long video. Um, no connection to Valiant. Okay. And Justin says, let it breathe. I, I knew that would be his uh, vote. If you haven't seen Justin on the Two Brothers uh, comics, uh, Saturday Night Babylon or some of the other places that he's been on, you'll see that his little basement of uh, figures down there uh, they're all breathing in those Ikea cabinets. Watch Blood Light. Yeah, you know, I mean, it, it is what it is. I mean, it was going to be an action shootout. I mean, that's what 
Bloodshot supposed to be, and it was supposed to be kind of an origin movie. And the, the only thing is that they really did not uh, main true to Bloodshot. It, and I know in later Bloodshots, he gained this ability to kind of camouflage himself, but you know, it, the old pale white red dot in the chest, they just did away with that. And I don't know if it's because like uh, Jennifer Lawrence didn't want to be painted up as mystique and so in large part she remained herself through most of those i don't know ben, uh, ben diesel's like hey look i'm ben diesel i'm not going to paint up and wear cgc stuff uh for majority of this time i don't know if that's what it was or what but um all right we'll do we'll do um so I didn't anticipate this being a very long um, stream. I do, again, have a stream for the 400 subscriber giveaway. We are able to uh, make that one tomorrow, uh, early part of the afternoon. Just depends on what time zone you're in. Um, then uh, feel free to drop in there where I'll be giving away several comics. Uh, the comic pack that I showed earlier that has Batman 89, the third print. Um, that's 89, or is that 92? 89, yeah, doubted myself on that. So, um, and then the original team of Guardians of the Galaxy uh, from their first appearance, and uh, Spider-Woman number one, got several different things. And so if you haven't already done so, run over to the 400 subscriber giveaway announcement video and say, I want to win in order to get entered on that contest also have a, a uh, current contest flowing as well for this puppy right here. And if you haven't already done so, check out former videos and IG posts to see what you have to do to enter to win that. Uh, we are uh, creeping up on that awfully fast. Um, thanks in part not only to your all's help in putting that out there to the community uh, to subscribe to my channel and then also follow me on IG. Um, but also Crazy Clown, wanted to give him a shout out because he sent a lot of people over my way as well. Uh, so that is it, folks. I do appreciate you taking a few minutes of your time, um, about 37 to be exact, give or take, depending on when you got into the stream and uh, watch me babble on or ramble on and show what I was able to pick up today. Hope you'll be able to join me soon and, and or tomorrow on that uh, stream as well as soon on some other ones that are in the works. And so until next time, keep reading and keep collecting. Adios.